to our YouTube channel. This is our second video. And today we are going to be giving Billy a little bit of a makeover. He is disgusting. Yes, Billy, you are disgusting. So this is our second video. In the first one, Meet the Ponies, I completely forgot to introduce myself and I'm Rachel, so everyone knows now. I'm excited. Right, let's get you out, Billy. So as you can see, Billy is absolutely filthy. He's been out in the field, we've been on a hack and got absolutely plastered in mud. Didn't we? You had fun, didn't you? You'll have to just excuse his um, waistline right now. We've all been in lockdown, we've all been overindulging, but we're working on it now, aren't we, Billy? So ideally, I'd have liked to have bathed him before I clipped him, but it's just not really been possible at the minute with the weather being so cold. I know it's warmed up now, but it's still very damp and it's going to take him hours to dry. We haven't got a solarium, so I'd rather just give him a good brush and get him cold and get stiff. So we'll give you a good brush. So I've given him a brush over, I've got the mane of the dirt off. His legs are still a bit damp might be a problem but we'll see how we go so I'm just going to put a tail bandage on because I do not want this getting in the way so I've got his tail bandaged up out of the way do not want that cutting off so today i'm going to give him a full clip he's not particularly hairy he's just got a lot of cat hairs um i'm going to do a leg blend i didn't last time i clipped him you can see where the old line is there hello so i'm going to give him a full clip and blend out his legs i'm going to probably take this little part off just in case there is some shows and his summer coat grows weird. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a love heart, but I don't think it's not really good luck in the show ring, is it? <clears throat> so, as you see, he's just cat hairy. I don't think a lot will come off, but we'll see. So Billy is noise sensitive. He has a condition. I can make a video at a later date about it, but when I'm clipping him, I, put earplugs in um, it just helps him a bit it's not a case of him being scared or upset by the sound it's just sound irritates his condition so if I can we always keep the yard quiet we don't have the radio on because the radio affects him too and like if we were going to shows that were particularly loud with loud tannoys he would need earplugs in so even though he'll have earplugs in today sometimes the noise does get through them so I might have to stop clipping him because I don't want to affect him. But we'll see how we go. So these are the earplugs I use. They're for, from Perform Eclair. They're really good. Like it. These are the native ones, small pony ones. Squidgy, so easy to put in. Aren't they? He doesn't mind them. Shakes his head a little bit when they first go in, but he soon settles down. about his um, condition if you want might be I'll have to research it because it's quite complex and I want to get it right for everyone so he's got his earplugs in I'm gonna set up the clippers and we'll get clipping he did used to be really naughty to clip but I'm sure you'll be fine won't you Put this on there. Oh, 
So I'm just gonna try and show you, this could be hard, I'm holding a camera and clippers, how I do the line here so you've not got a harsh line. Not really done. This isn't a clipping tutorial by the way, I'm just showing you what I do. Okay, so here we go. show you how to how I do leg blending um, still a bit damp so um, I'll see how it goes uh, I might have to do a voiceover for this part just so you, I can tell you what I'm doing but... I usually clip down to this point, it's not like I might clip that bit, but further down to here, do that line here, and then what I do is I turn the clippers around and I go down like that and sort of grade it so it blends in. But because his legs are so filthy and the bit of clips is so clean, it's not going to look very good today. I have to give his legs a wash and show what it looks like once it's clean and they're all done. So. I'll start grading. So that's the leg blended. I mean, just it looks sort of bad on camera, but you could go close. There's no line. So once this leg's been washed, you'll barely be able to tell that it's been clipped. Might just take a bit more off there. But like there, let's see. Like that is blended. All you have to do is literally turn turn the clippers down and just comb down till you've got till you're happy with the how it's looking. I'm just gonna take a bit more off there because you can I mean look, that's not very good, Rachel, is it? Poor Billy making you look stupid. Right, I'm just gonna take this bit off and then I'll put you back on a time lapse. So this is the blended knee. When blending legs, you have to be careful whereabouts you do it on the joint. I mean, this is quite obvious at the minute because clean, dirty. But once you've had a bath and a wash, you will not be able to tell. 
Um, also with blending with a knee, you have to be careful. See, if I had, if you're not, if you don't blend enough above the knee and over the knee, you can almost make the illusion that the horse has got a, a big knee or a bigger knee than it does. So you just got to be careful. And also his legs, they're disgusting. I mean, he, um, they're all pig oiled. Um, they're all pig oiled. Um, he's been out in the field today. He's been on a hack and got absolutely disgusting. I only wash them when they're horrendous. I can go to cob leg care another time. I can do a video. On it. So I'm going to get on now because as I said before, Billy is noise sensitive. So I want to make this a quick pro process and get on. So I'll put you on to a, a time lapse and I'll get on and I'll show you the end result when I'm done. A brush. So I've lost a bit of light now, so sorry if the quality is bad, but I'm just going to show you a close up of his head. Um, I've given him like a half a head and I sort of blended it in so he's had his beard off and I've done it like a normal half head and just blended it it's not perfect but there. just looks smart now and I've just trimmed his ears as well also um, I'm just, oh, he's falling asleep, look. So, I've finished clipping him now. I mean, it's, not a lot of hair's come off him, really. That's a bit, just mainly cat hair, but, um, I'll give him a brush. Oh, I'll smack again. Oh, look. You can see where his heart's been. I, I clipped it off. See, that was my worry if I didn't clip it off now. Is his summer coat going to grow weird, so... Kinda glad I've clipped that off. He looks smart now. Nick on my mum's tea towels but I just don't need to know about this because I can't find mine anywhere so I've got hot water 
is only all I've got at the minute, so it's the number one by all by Shark Tank. I'm gonna hot cough him now. A little drip of oops. A little drop in there. So this is basically just to remove any excess hair that I've missed whilst brushing, get some of the dust and the dirt out of his coat and the oil will just help moisturise his skin and condition his coat. Look, oh beautiful Billy. Oh beautiful. That's Billy all clipped and looking a little bit smarter than he did. What do you think, Billy? Are you smarter? Always looking pretty, aren't you? So if you enjoyed, please like, comment and subscribe. We re really appreciate it. And we hope to see you in the next one. Bye from us. Bye. Cliff, Bill. He's super shiny now.